Hey, this is RagePish71 here. We're going to play Splinter Cell Conviction, a different game from the usual stealth horror genre that I often play a lot. You know, like Slender, SCP, you know, jump scare galore. So I'm just going to play a stealth game for once, something that actually requires skill, unlike other games. So we're going to play this on normal because I ain't that too much of a pro. Because, you know, me being a pro at something is like me becoming a god. Ubisoft Productions, Ubisoft, what a terrible company. Uh, I made a great company, they make Assassin's Creed 3. Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. That's a great way to start a game. The thing you have to understand is this. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. America killed him. Ask him to make Warriors. one sacrifice too many. Cross one line too far. A drunk driver killed him. Some anonymous asshole who ran down his daughter and vanished. She was the one thing in his life that humanized him. And his agency killed him. Set him up, turned him loose, and told him to pull the trigger on his best friend in a dirty New York City basement. That's, That's pretty, pretty messed, messed up. up. Irving Lambert died by Sam's hand that day. And so did Sam. He's got a lot of so he left. Pleasure. Left third echelon, left the life he knew. Left America and mom and apple pie, left it all behind. He hopped off the grid and went walkabout, looking for a reason to go on living. Eventually he found it. He caught a whisper in the wind that maybe his daughter's death hadn't been an accident. Oh. He heard a name. And he found somewhere to go looking. Nice. A city all right. called Valletta. It's in Malta. Well, that's a weird city. Excuse me, sir. Yes. America. Phone call for you. Please accept these compliments of your call. Hey, never accept weird things from strangers, Sam. Or not. Sam. Who is this? How'd you find me? Give me a little credit, Sam. Don't tell me you don't recognize my voice even after all this time. Grim, what do you want? To save your life. We can go from there. A team of armed men just entered the marketplace looking for you. They're closing in on your position. Unless you do exactly what I say, this will be a very short conversation. Oh, that's great. I'm not doing a damn thing until you tell me how you found me. We're third echelon. We've got an eye on everyone. Oh, so you're like the Illuminati. Look up. You'll see it. You're the U.S. government, right? The U.S. government. I see it. Then I can take it back up to safe altitude and you can get moving. You still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostiles inbound on your position, and from where you're at, you're a sitting duck. Now get to that group of stalls in the market. There's a lot of cover for you there. Just like the old days, huh, Grim? Just like the old days, Sam. Are you carrying? Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there are civilians around. That's very noble of you. But right now, what matters to me is getting you out of there in one piece. So get to that group of booths right now, or I can't help you, Sam. That's just great. Everybody leave! Get the fuck out of here! Good. Now let's get you a little closer to those targets in the light over there. Go cover to cover until you reach the luggage stand. Make it there, and I might be able to help you out. Oh yeah, he's getting out of here with no freaking backup. That's perfect. What are the guys on, huh? Let's go. You think Ooh. of that? Yeah. Ooh. Get some goddamn I'm power. The power. Here. Hang on. Now. I'm tapping right. into the city's power grid. That'll let me overload the transformers near yeah. you and blow out those lights. At least we know the guys are Good alive. job. Blow out, out the, the lights. lights. Really helpful. I like to play the dark Good job. And I just the light. Daddy! Daddy! Oh, come on. Don't, Don't tell me we're going to flashback already. already. 20, 20 years ago. ago. That's pretty behind the times. 
Hey there, kiddo. What's wrong? All I don't like the dark. Bad. It's scary. Turn on the light for me, please. Don't be a wasada. Just pretend there's nothing to be afraid of. Come on, sweetie. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Like when you want to go to sleep. I could go to sleep with the light on. No, you can't. You're lying to me, Kiro. You know, I'm gonna switch, switch off the light to be a bad dad. When it's light, you can't see into a place that's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Really. Oh. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. But if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. Can you please turn the light back on? Okay. Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. There is? Show me. Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. And then you can do stuff with them. Like what? Yeah, like you mean. Take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? If there were monsters standing underneath it, because I can see it, maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. Oh, oh yeah, good, good job. job. Daddy, what was that? Daddy, Daddy needs you to stay in bed now, okay? He's gonna shut the door and be back real soon, all right? Okay, Daddy, I love you. Don't worry, stay in bed. There you go, Sam. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. You got no balls, man. What? If you did, what the you fuck? Did these folks say that I don't have? Son of a gun, bastard. Whoever did this is dead. Oh, yeah, I'm a I'm a trained killer. Come on! Oh, oh shoot me! me. Oh, oh shoot! I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a selfie. You're a chicken shit, fish. Are you hear me? I ain't a chicken. I just don't want to die. You want to die, though? What do you got, man? You got anything good? This place is shit. Yeah, you picked it, asshole. You said we'd get a couple of thou east. I heard there was metals and shit we could fence in here. The lady that lives here is hot. Maybe we could wait for her to come home. Wow, we'll take it out and trade. Now you're talking. Oh yeah, look at this punk, he's gonna try and kill me. What a... These punks are gonna die here, aren't they? Alright, you want me to mark him and protect my family. I can protect my family. What am I gonna do with all the dead bodies? Am I gonna throw them out the window? Where am I, the Bronx? Is this the Bronx? Was they kind of broken my Dad, what did you do to them, Dad? Sir, baby, don't look. Yeah, don't look, please. Sam? Sam! What are you doing, Daddy? What, what are you doing? doing? Sam, talk to me. Sam? Sam, are you there? Uh, Come on, don't check out on me. Graham, why oh, There this? you are. They brought in some reinforcements, and the man calling the shots is with them. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him, and you can figure out what questions to ask. Why? Oh, all right. We're gonna interrogate some people. Sweet. That's fun. Interrogations are fun. That usually involves lots of pain and suffering. But that's fun, right? Oh, hand to hand kill. We'll take this call. Who's paying the bill? Get off the phone. Kobe. Oh man, why we gotta keep working for this guy? Money's gonna die because his money's all. This is why you don't test out of the public when there's an armed killer outside. Lesson learned. This game teaches you many more lessons. I've got an ID on the leader, Sam. His name is Dimitri Gramko, a local street Dimitri, level boss. Like he hires himself buddy. and his gang yes, out on a regular basis. Who is he working for Good now? Job, Why don't you ask him? I think I will. Good, Good job, the little boy. You came up with yet another Dimitri, another Russian name. Good job. What are you gonna come up with next? Nikolai? Is he like Balkan? No, you? Nah, man. Oh yeah, the game. Oh, yeah, the game. Yeah, the guys smart. They probably ran out the back entrance to the market, left us here with our thumbs up. Back's all blocked off. He's got to come through here. Hopefully, before we die oh, of old age. I better go back in the dark. What the hell is he hiding anyway? Jewelry stand, maybe? Nah, not enough cover. He's got to be somewhere around here. Probably someplace. Cover me, you assholes! You're dead, Fisher! You're fucking dead! Cut him down! I'm not gonna die for this. I'm gonna go in the dark and die like a wuss. Look at me. Cut him down! Remember, guys. You gotta kill him! Guys, guys, guys! 
Take that, Let son of a it. bitch! I like how that guy is like the worst. Let him have it! A thousand bucks for the guy who kills Fisher! What the fuck? Is that possible to kill somebody? Screw this. I'm out of here. Yeah, roll, little sissy boy. Follow him, alright. I'm gonna go follow him. I gotta go say hi. Stay back, you hear me? Wow, this guy's really freaking out. Maybe I should just listen to him cry. Nah. Yeah. Oh. Looking for me, asshole. Yeah, are you looking for me? Come on. Oh! 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 oh. oh they just went up to say a fish guy. You are playing your own. Who sent you? Yeah. Who sent I'm you? you? Goddamn thing! You're gonna tell me everything! I'm gonna interrogate it, so I'm gonna interrogate you. You're real good. Come on, buddy. Let's talk. Yeah. Real good. Yeah, that was sad, he's sick, so... Oh! Yo, I don't think we're... I don't think this is very good at Terry, Sam, we're killing the guy. Okay, enough! <coughs> you wanna know send me? It's Corbin. Andre Corbin. Oh, yeah. Hey. <coughs> Runs drugs. Guns. Anything people want, he gets it for them. Huh? Not good enough. Like Why does Corbin want me I dead? I kill him, come on! If I talk, he'll kill me! <coughs> he's crazy! Oh, well, uh, both ways, you're probably gonna die anyway. Same issues with Terry. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, 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 Oh! He killed me! Oh my god! god. I already, already told, told you seven, seven times! If you don't tell me where he's at, I'm probably gonna kill you! What do I do with you now? Let's see how the other stall treats you. In the city! The old museum on King George Street. It's his place now. Guards out front and on the sides. Don't tell him I told you! Yeah, sure, oh, I'm not gonna tell him a damn thing. I'm not gonna tell him anything, I'm just gonna kill him. And I'm gonna kill you too, so. Don't tell him I told you. But I knew all along that's where Sam would be going. Oh, good, you're gone. Anything dirty in Malta ran through that mansion. Coben's whole operation was based there, and he turned the place into a fortress. Good job, Coben. Really nice way of hiding yourself. Which, to be fair, it pretty much was to start with. And that was before he filled the place with jumpy guys toting automatic weapons. But Sam knew Coben was in there. And that he might know something about what happened to his daughter. So, Sam was going in. No matter what. Oh, that's Alright guys, I'm gonna end the first episode off here. We'll continue this next episode. If you liked it, like, favorite, do whatever you want with the video. I mean, whatever. But uh, yeah, if you want more, spam the comments section. You don't want to Alright, see you later.